I'm back. In today's video, we're gonna get into a little bit of how I style my sneakers. And I know this video is titled How to Style Sneakers, but I'm not a certified style guru or anything like that. But I just wanna show how I kind of like to style my sneakers. And that's basically with a lot of very simple fits that I can kind of wear with a lot of different sneakers. Because I have so many sneakers in my collection, I kind of just want really easy everyday fits where I can wear just a variety of sneakers and I don't have to think too hard. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video for you today. So if that sounds interesting, come along for the ride. So if that sounds interesting, thanks so much for checking this one out. If you're new to the channel, I post very sporadically about fashion and sneakers. And uh, if you're coming back for more, thanks for being patient. So here we go. So the first group of sneakers are Jordans. Why Jordans? Because I think they're just a staple in my collection and really what got me into the sneaker game. So Jordans historically, I think, have been a very hard sneaker to style just because they're kind of chunky. They're usually mostly white and athletic looking. And just with like modern fashion, they're kind of hard to pull off if they aren't an everyday classic like a Jordan 1. But yeah, Jordans, white, chunky athletic sneakers. I really like to style these by just elevating them with a pair of smart ankle pants. And the ones I have on here are from Uniqlo and Uniqlo is a great place to find these pants. I think smart ankle pants work with white chunky athletic sneakers like Jordan's because they just kind of elevate your look while keeping it still pretty casual. So it doesn't look too out of place like if you're wearing a tux and a pair of Jordan's. Although you can do that, but smart pants really do help elevate Jordans a little bit. I think for me, they just really give me that extra snap to elevate Jordans as an athletic basketball sneaker into something that I can wear a clean outfit around. And all the other pieces are pretty casual because I just like to keep the tone of the outfit very casual. So oversized gray hoodie up top, everyone has a gray hoodie. It's a wardrobe staple. And key detail for me on this one, the structured snapback, just because I think it adds that key streetwear element that gives it just it's like a nice cherry on top for the outfit. Yeah, I think with a pair of elevated smart pants and keeping the rest of the pieces casual, you can get off a lot of different pairs of Jordans and they're just very easy to wear and style in this way. But moving on to the next style and the next fit, this is really getting into that realm of Gorpcore. And I know Gorpcore is very trendy, but I don't know, I've kind of been on, but also not really been on the Gorpcore way for the longest time. Like I've been into brands like the North Face since high school and just kind of like that rain jacket aesthetic. So that's kind of what we're going for here. We're kind of combining workwear, utility, and also that Gorpcore slash like hiker aesthetic in this one, but I think this is just a really easy fit if you want to get off a lot of outdoorsy or 
utility kind of workwear looking sneakers. And here going with my favorite pair of double knees in black from Dickies. These are just a nice workwear pant that I think pairs really well with a Gorp Core kind of jacket. And the jacket I have on here is a nice cropped wide fitting jacket from I think a small LA brand called K2 Studios. And I actually love the black and gray panels on this jacket. And I think it's just the perfect kind of cheap, cheapish, inexpensive corp core piece that I was looking for that wasn't something like blowing a thousand dollars on an Arcteryx jacket. And up top, the black beanie here, I think just really goes with that kind of corp core slash workwear aesthetic. And next up, this one is a little bit more controversial in terms of an outfit aesthetic, but this is the dad fit of the video. And I don't know, I know that dad fits aren't super popular because everything's just kind of baggy and uninspired, but to me, it's kind of a look all on its own. And I do like that kind of lazy put together outfit. And to me, that's kind of what the dad aesthetic is all about. But what's great about the dad aesthetic is that you can get off fits with your kind of chunkier sneakers. Because dads have made sneakers kind of like the Nike Monarch, chunky, ugly, white running shoe, kind of go with that aesthetic. I think you can kind of take that style cue and put it together into a dad fit that's kind of more refined. And in that way, it'll kind of let you get off a fit with your chunkier dad looking runners or any type of sneaker that's essentially a bigger model. So in this case, I have some wide fitting work denim from Uniqlo, of course in this nice kind of dark medium blue wash. And I think the wide fit just really goes nicely with that chunky sneaker aesthetic. And up top, we're going away from that typical dad fit with this wash black hoodie in kind of more of a cropped silhouette. But I think that kind of helps to elevate the dad fit. Whereas the jeans are the base of the dad fit and the black washed hoodie is kind of that streetwear elevation of your typical dad fit to make this a cleaner, more modern fit, but still give you that streetwear dad aesthetic, if that makes any sense. Again, nice way for me to kind of get off a of fit with chunkier sneakers. All right, and last section here, I really just wanted to do a section for clogs just because 
Looking at my sneaker collection is definitely way different than, you know, when I had sneakers back in high school or even college, where it was mostly basketball shoes and Jordans. But now with the advent of foam sneakers becoming so popular and honestly a very stylish option to have, we have a section for clogs. And uh, I feel like to me, clogs are still just a very casual aesthetic. Most of them you just kind of slip on and they don't look too serious. Of course, Crocs are the perfect example of that. If you see someone in a pair of Crocs, you don't really expect them to be doing much. They're kind of cruising around, chilling. And so with that idea in mind, the fit I went with for clogs is kind of a more elevated approach to that. I kind of took some inspiration from Japanese streetwear almost with kind of baggy wide fitting pants that are tapered a little bit and just keeping it very casual and tucking in a black shirt. So I have no idea if that made any sense at all, but these are kind of the four fits that I had for you in this video. And uh, yeah, honestly, if anything, this will serve as kind of a nice lookbook for myself. If I don't know what to wear with like any pairs that I showed you in this video, I can just kind of watch this video back myself and figure out what I could wear with any of these sneakers. So yeah, that about does it for me. Thanks so much for checking this one out. If you enjoyed this, like and a sub go a long way. And yeah. I'll be back with more uh, sometime, I guess. Thanks so much for watching. See ya in the next one.